Here's a quick update on tonight. Uh, as weather hazards as well as your outlook for the rest of the country. Let's take a look at the northeast quickly where we have winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings also in effect across New York and Pennsylvania here anywhere from two to four inches across the southern tier to as much as six to eight, six to ten inches across the snow belt areas of Erie down to Warren, down to Bradford, down to just west of State College, these areas, not just north of Pittsburgh. This low is winding up, it's heading northeast and it's taking with it most of the moisture. Here out west we have a system that's producing some moisture but most of the rain will come in later in the period, forecast period. Let's take a look at precipitation amounts quick. We're going to see anywhere from two to five inches over the next say five days across the southeast and that will be with this uh, low pressure system I'm going to tell you about coming up for the week especially from uh, Christmas Day onward. So, and out west here we've got upwards of five, six inches of rain in northern California. Places like Eureka, all the way up to Portland, could see some heavy rain out of the system and lowering snow levels to 5,000 feet. So, let's get right into the models, because this is where things get interesting. There is a hint of a Christmas Day storm, albeit a very small one, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. This low, and it's very unanimous by both the Euro and the GFS, this doesn't happen very often, but both models are in agreement of taking a low and bending it across southern PA and the Maryland border and then taking it out to sea. Spreading snowfall accumulations anywhere from three to five inches across uh, southern Pennsylvania, eastern Pennsylvania, central and southern New Jersey and heading out towards Long Island with two to four inch amounts further north into northeast Pennsylvania, south and southern New York southern upstate New York and then heading up into the one to three amounts across the southern tier of New York heading into the northern Catskills. So the Poconos and Catskills could see some two to five inch snow amounts out of this to give you a white Christmas in many of these areas. But the storm we're really going to watch here is the storm on Christmas uh, late, late in the period after Christmas, the 26th, 27th, 28th. Let's take a look at the blocking. This is called a Rex block. Here's Canada, eastern Canada. We have this ridging. You see these uh, isotherms here? These uh, and these height contours, we've got a ridge building in eastern Canada and that is going to block the system from being able to head uh, out to sea or progress further northeastward. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. We actually have the GFS positioned the system on the 27th, late the 28th, right over just uh, southeast of the New Jersey coast. The Euro, the Euro is very si similar. You can see it positions it right actually further inland along southern New Jersey. So that will spread the snow inland across many portions of interior New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, and on up to southern New England. Let's take a look at these low pressure scenarios. Takes the low right up through and spreads a wide swath of very extensive snowfall coverage and some freezing rain and sleet mixed in to some of the areas towards the coastline. So this is both models are doing a really good job in agreeing with each other, and we're going to continue to watch that for further trends. I'm meteorologist Mark Mulner. Like us on Facebook at MeteorMark, and don't forget to subscribe to us. And here's a 4-day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton, Elmira, and the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania.